X torque. She's been having problems with it. So it's not running right. Won't uh, rev up. Bogs out. Won't idle. Uh, put some fresh gas in it. It's got uh, not much in there, so. I'm going to be giving her some lessons on bar maintenance and chain sharpening because she got into some stuff and the older chain just went and bought a new chain and bar for it. Let's see if we can get her to start first and see what it sounds like and go from there. She's running a little rich. So, I'm going to have to get some advice from somebody on this one. See if I can find a different car to put on it because this thing's a hunk. I'll have to let her use my saw in the meantime. Oh. 
get some advice on this and uh, we'll get back to you later. Hello everybody. Welcome to my makeshift shop. <laughs> um, right now I don't really have a place to work and until I get that set up this is gonna be it when it's crappy weather outside. It's been snowing pretty much since yesterday so a little bit at a time I mean it's not snowing hard we've only got about four inches but anyway is what I got so we're gonna try and see if we can figure this saw out love these x works Don't really need to take the starter cover off other than it needs cleaned really bad. Now I'm not a professional saw mechanic, so you'll have to bear with me. This is kind of trial and error. Um, some of this stuff is going to be probably a little clumsy. I can work on small engines and stuff, but never taking this one very far down. Yeah, it definitely needs a clean up job. I'm thinking I probably got a plug fuel line or something's going on. Carburetor issue. I do have another carburetor ordered for this that has adjustment screws. High and low. If I don't find a fuel line problem, um, at least I'll have the carb off and ready to swap out with a new one. A lot of times when I'm doing stuff like this, and I'm not sure if I can remember how things go back together, like these two wires. I mean, I know it's pretty simple. Blue's blue is vertical, black's horizontal. The guy can always just snap a picture of it. Got it for future reference. On my impulse line.
that line works. Well, I think what we'll do for now is uh, plug the holes back up and uh, wait for the new carburetor, put it on, see if that helps. Doesn't run good with that, then I'll get a hold of some buddies and ask for some advice. So we'll call that good for now. And <clears throat> if you like it, thumb that like button. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everybody. All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, wound up putting a new carburetor on this. Uh, I probably didn't need to. <clears throat> I think the old one was just out of adjustment. But I uh, ordered a new carb before I found out that you need a special tool to adjust these. Which I did learn that. And uh, I did buy them. So I'm going to start this up and see if we can adjust the carb on it. I haven't really... I just fired it for a second. Make sure it'll run. So let's see what we got. chain up a little bit but we'll get to that go cut some wood thanks for watching if you like it 
hit that thumbs up button. I'd like it if you'd subscribe and share the videos with your friends. Thanks, everybody.